All right, so let's go through and see how our teams did. We're going to reveal these questions and answers one by one. So the first one, if you may recall, eating too many sugary foods affects how much insulin this organ produces. What is the organ? Yes, you all have been watching the show. This little organ is your pancreas. And what it does is it actually sits right behind your stomach. I'm going to show everyone up there where that pancreas should live. It's right behind the stomach, which, yeah, right in the middle. I will have to give you all credit. I'm going to give you all a correct answer. Now, let, let's move on to our second question, which is, because of excess body fat, this organ can scar and inflame in a state known as steatohepatitis. What is the organ? Liver. You're right, liver. OK. And what happens with the liver is, and again, you all are pretty similar. Now, if you look up there, the liver should be a little bit higher. And the, the liver lives kind of in your right upper quadrant of your abdomen, like we're showing up there. You all had your livers pretty doggone low, but I have to give you all a point because you're close. And so I, you all get a point. Yeah. So let's move on to number three. Due to excess body weight, this organ is compressed, making oxygen intake more difficult. What is the organ? You guys said. Lungs. You guys are. Right. Yes, they are. What? Yeah, can you? And so what happens is if you're carrying excess weight, particularly in your abdominal cavity, that is literally compressing up against your diaphragm. Your diaphragm is a muscle, sits under your lungs. Every time you take in a breath, the diaphragm comes down and it pushes it. And basically, as it's doing this, the more weight you carry, the more compressed your lungs are. And as we show up on this diagram, you all really did a good job. The lungs are all in an appropriate spot. I might. I might have these a little bit higher, just a little bit, but you know what? You're all for getting a point. No. <laughs> One last question. And this is gonna dictate which team is eliminated. The final question. When obesity raises your cholesterol, this organ is most directly affected. What is the organ? Heart. You are correct. It is the heart. When you eat a high fat meal, over time, that cholesterol that builds up in your bloodstream actually deposits in your heart's arteries. So this is a very healthy heart, size of your fist. This is someone who was active, ate the right foods. This is someone who developed heart disease. Look at how big this heart is, OK? It's about triple the size. And as you have more and more cholesterol in your system, carry more and more weight, you can have high blood pressure. That cholesterol deposits in your heart's arteries, making it more difficult for oxygen to get to your heart. You can develop heart failure, have a heart attack. This is not what you want to have happen. That's why I am, again, emphasizing give in to the right kind of hunger. Now, it's time. It's time for me to decide who the winner is, because let's look where the heart's supposed to be. Oh. The green and yellow team winners, four out of four. That leaves the red and blue team. We must see who advances in this competition. And Ed, tell them what the tie break will be. Well, Travis, we're going to have a little arm wrestling competition. First one to bring your competitor's hand down wins. All right, so it's a physical challenge. All right, elbows down. So I'm going to say three, two, one, go. Whoever gets the other person down first wins. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So Tiffany on the red team advance. Stephanie and Jill of the blue team. Your yes. time on the Hunger Games, doctor style, has come to a close. But that was a heck of an effort. That was Thanks. really a good effort.